We're here today at Temecula's Farmer's Market, held every Wednesday at the Promenade Mall. Here with me is Gail Cunningham, who manages all the farmer's markets in the area. How are you doing, Gail? I'm doing great, thank you. And how many farmer's markets do you manage? I manage five farmer's markets, three of them in the Temecula area, and all of our farmer's markets are certified farmer's markets, which means that we are certified by the Department of Agriculture. We don't buy and sell, we grow everything that we sell, and we are real farmers. And tell me more about the Temecula Farmer's Market. How many growers are here? There's 15 growers at this market. We think we have almost every fruit and vegetable covered. They love to talk about their product. They're proud of what they do, so they will talk your ear off. <laughs> All right, SOI team, let's go talk to some farmers. What product do you have and tell us a little bit more about it? All right, so I'm Jonathan Davis, the uh, owner of Tule Peak Farm. We specialize in uh, specialty produce and microgreen. How do you store them to keep them fresh so they don't get brown or anything like that? We do our best to bring them ideal for storage at home, so we try to make sure that these greens are well watered but at the same time dry, because moisture is your enemy. So really you keep them in the clamshell that we pack them in, in the crisper drawer of your fridge, and that's, that's all you really need to do. Where do you grow your produce? Uh, we grow right here locally in Riverside County, right here off of Cajaco Road down to 15. Uh, we have cauliflowers, carrots, celery. We pretty much grow like any vegetable mm -hmm. and fruits, strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries huh. all locally right here in Riverside County. All we grow are apples. Uh, this, we grow about 15 varieties of apples. We're all organic, certified organic. If you want sweet and crisp, it's these Fujis here. And if you want a little sweet tart flavor, it's these Pink Ladies. Oh. Triple thumbs up. Yeah. If some shoppers were to buy some, do you have any produce storage tips for them? Yeah, I would put them in the fridge. You know, that the uh, fridge is pretty good. And uh, these these Fujis and Pink Ladies would, even at this point, should keep up for a, to a month in the fridge. Thank you for your time, sir. We appreciate you doing this yeah. for us. We visited some other farmers markets in Riverside County. Let's see what they share with our SOI team. What are the benefits of eating nuts? They're, they're good. Uh, they're good proteins. Uh, they're really good for you. Some of them. Uh, like one of our really popular item, uh, items for health is our chia seeds. It's supposed to be really good for you. It's supposed to burn the bad fats, lower cholesterol. Uh, it makes you feel hydrate. Uh, keep you hydrated. Doesn't make you as hungry as much. What do you have here? Well, I, obviously the, the name implies that we have coffee. Uh, hot coffee, iced coffee. Uh, we sell uh, fruit flavored lemonades and teas, and we've recently added barbecue. We're selling uh, barbecue tri tip. Uh, we'll also be doing occasionally uh, pulled pork, uh, ribs, some other barbecued items like that. So, what do you like being in the farmer's market? Uh, the farmer's market is great for a small business owner because it's a low overhead. You don't have a building that you have to pay rent on, and you get to be out close to the neighborhood, and it's a different place each day. Great information gathered by our SOI team. Our viewers now have some great farmer's market tips. We'll see you back at the studio.